Well, uh, so I want to represent a game that I named 2020 Lockdown. It will be a survival text-based adventure kind of game. There will be two parts to this game. One part would be the survival where you have supplies. You're, you're basically had to fortify your house or you're fortified in your house and you have to survive the entire pandemic. So you'll be, you'll be needing to be gathering supplies. You'll be needing to uh, make sure that you're not infected. And so which it brings to the aspect of the second gameplay is when you do go outside, you will be sort of in a bullet hell type situation where you, are, you have your motto that has to avoid any people coming nearby to, so they don't get infected. They have to keep the six feet distance. And that will be what the game is. So the, this will be solving the question of, or we'll be trying to bring up a bit more awareness to the fact that people just kind of ignore the severity of what, what's going on. They know about it, so either they don't believe it's an issue, they don't think it's that big of an issue, or they just simply don't care. But the reality is that their actions are going to bring harm to not only themselves, but the people around them. Not even, not necessarily speaking about their family, like people they know, but just you know, it's a it's an issue. Uh, what's it called herd immunity is is a thing. So the more people who is are carriers is going to make it so people who can who are more suspect 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 success suspect suspect so we, the people who are more likely to get infected are more likely to be to be affected when more when the general public is more affected. So the goal will be very simple that to get through 12 months of the pandemic. Um, what the player will be able to do is, at least for the first part of the game, they'll be able to make, they'll, every like uh, week or every month, there will be an event where uh, something happens and they get to make an active choice that would uh, either give them some supplies or either negatively affect them uh, or maybe nothing will happen. Uh, though obviously they're limited on what they can, what <laughs> what they can choose to do during the event, and the, they'll be able to see what happens because of what they choose. Of course, you could the game could be played in a way where oh, I'll play the game in the way I want to play. I would choose, or they could try to do it so like. There'd be a score system where the 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 less affected you are, or then the more supplies you have, the higher score you'll get. And the second part of the game, where it will be um, the bullet hell aspect, uh, obviously the goal is to avoid being touched by uh, people. Um, they'll be able to move like a they would have a player model, which they'll be able to move in a two D space. Uh, obviously, there are constraints that they can only move. They can't do anything else to the enemy units. They can't push because that's sort of, in reality when you go outside, you're not going to be, you know, pushing people or stuff like that. Uh, as they touch people, they'll have like a little bar that shows how much of an infected chance they get. And if they get if they if they get infected, they eventually lose the game. Uh, so, so the course outcomes that would be met through this is the sort of map where the bullet hole happens that they would be had to navigate can be procedurally generated. Um, we have to create out tech, create an AI for the enemy unit because different people, uh, there would be certain units that just avoid the player. There would be certain units that actively try to engage the player, and there'll be other units that just uh, wander around randomly. Like this, so to represent like the people who, who you know need to go out, but they know that they shouldn't be getting close to people. The people who are actively, I don't know, aggressive towards the whole wearing a mask situation, and then the people who just don't care and they're just going by their day like nothing's happening. There'll be a game difficulty where either 
the 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 bullet hell section can be more difficult. More units are coming at you. More they'll be more aggressive. Uh, supplies are harder to get. You get less supplies to start off with. And the gameplay is gonna be a loop of you start the game. Uh, you get a random event, then you choose the the, your cho you, the player chooses what happens. They get to choose if they want to leave to get all the resources, which they don't have to. It's a it's a choice. Uh, it's sort of a risk that, that they take to make sure they survive, and they continue looping through the three choices until like the game ends. They win or lose. They survive the twelve months, or they get infected and lose, or they starve like because they simply weren't gathering resources. They were just trying to not get infected and they end up just losing and basically that will be the entire game uh 2020 lockdown make it happen this is a presentation by also